how to embed Calendly on WordPress quick and easy. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to embed Calendly to your WordPress website to schedule meetings, appointments, and much more. So let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is you require a website on WordPress. So if you already have a website and you're looking for a scheduling platform, which is for free, that allows you to schedule appointments, that will allow you to add different kind of forms to your uh, website then you should definitely go for calendly and it is completely free so how to embed calendly to your wordpress that's what we are covering in this tutorial it's actually really easy to do so you have a website on wordpress then what i want you guys to do is i want you to search for calendly.com and you will get to this website right here calendly is your scheduling automation platform for eliminating the back and forth emails for finding the perfect time it is going to be a plugin that we will be adding and we will be actually embedding calendly we don't need to add a plugin or anything we will be embedding it uh, with a custom html first of all you require an account on calendly so you can click on get started and you can create an account for free you can sign in with your google account or your email address once you do this is where you will get this is my calendly right here so in order to add calendly to your wordpress all you need to do is you just need to go to your account right here that you created make sure that you have some events already created like what you can do is you can create your own schedule right here uh, so once you have created a schedule then you can share it on your wordpress so i'll actually show you how to create a schedule here but first let's embed it so you're going to click on account right here and you will click on share your link it will give you three links we have copy your link email your link and then we have add to your website this is an embed link that we can add so what you guys need to do is you will just click on this right here and it will give you three options we have inline embed pop-up widget or a pop-up text how you want to embed it on your website so if you want it to be like this loads your calendly scheduling page so if you want to load the scheduling page directly then you're going to select this one if you want to go for a pop-up you can go with this one or pop-up text so i'm going to go with this one right here which opens up my calendly page my whole scheduling page this looks more professional i'm going to click on continue so this is the code right here that we got all you need to do is copy the code don't get frightened by the code right here you need to do nothing all you do is you're just gonna copy code once it's done we're good to go now we're gonna add this code on our wordpress so for that we're gonna go to our wordpress website and we will be creating a new page so you can go to pages right here and then you're gonna click on add new all right so here we have our page in page let's go with appointments okay now you have it here you're going to add a block. Of course, you can add more text into it if you want to add more images or anything like that. But we'll directly get to the point. You're going to click on add block and it will give you a block option. So I'm going to browse all of them. And here we have code. It allows us to add a HTML code. So you're going to select this one, drag and drop it right here. Here we have to write the code. Of course, we already got our code. So what we need to do is we just need to paste our code that we had. Once you're done, you're just going to click on enter and your code will be added. So this is going to be your code for your Calendly. Once you publish your page, this code will of course be converted into a simple link and what i can do then is it will open up a page for us that is why i wanted to show you like what kind of you know pop-up we were going for so we went with a page right it also shows us our you can see booking page settings hide page details hide the cookie banner then we all we can also select the color so it will open up the page now we have added the link right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on publish now we're going to view page. Um, before you publish, what you can also do is you can click on these three lines and it will show you the block settings. We have uh, copy the block, duplicate, we have lock, create reusable block, group, remove custom HTML. Uh, we can also do a setting for uh, show in a new tab if you want your page to be 
opened in a new tab or if you want to keep it on this page then you can go for this so this is how you will be just adding your embedding your calendly into your appointments page now this is like a brand new page that we created and this is how you can simply go ahead and embed calendly to your wordpress it's really easy to do now when you are embedding your calendly to your wordpress keep in mind to create a schedule first how to do that so for that you're going to click on create right here and you can either go with event type you can actually create a whole appointment like a if you have for example you give online sessions you have maybe therapy so what you can do is you can create a whole page for that and then you can share on calendly or what you can do is you can go for the workflows right here or what you can do is you can go to the availability right here and in availability, you're going to create your availability for your website, like when you are available and what is your schedule. So I'm going to click on add new schedule and we're going to call it appointments, right? This is the one that we wanted to add to WordPress. Click on create, then this is going to be your appointments. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and set it when you are available. So I am available from Monday till Friday and this is our timing what is it it's like from 5 a.m to 6 p.m then it's all uh, you know not aligned so what i'm going to do is i'm actually available from 10 a.m till 10 p.m like that's when you can book your appointments in between this time so i'm going to of course customize it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my time which is 10 a.m from here and then i'm going to go for 10 p.m here again there you go now instead of customizing everything i'm just going to copy this one and paste it on all the days till thursday on friday i am available from 10 a.m till 6 okay so i'm gonna add it right here there you go so this is my timing and now it has been created you can see this is for the appointments. Now I will share it on my WordPress website right here. When I will publish my website, this will be my page right here, my Calendly page. And now I have my own scheduling, appointment scheduling page on WordPress with Calendly. Uh, it is completely free signing up for Calendly. And it's really easy to embed a code as well. All you need to do is you will just uh, click on your account right here and you're going to click on share your link, click on embed and it will take you right here. So you can also choose a pop-up widget or a pop-up text for your scheduling page. And this way you will be able to add routing forms to your WordPress. You will be able to add your scheduling page. You will be able to add events and your online services so that you have a very responsive website. And with Calendly, it becomes really easy. Uh, you can also use a Calendly to schedule events. And if you want to schedule an event on your WordPress website, then now you can do it because you have embedded your Calendly to your WordPress. We can also embed WordPress with integrations right here so even if you go to integrations it will show you how to add calendar to your wordpress and the process is similar you're going to create a new page and right here you need to select the code and just copy and paste the code from calendly to wordpress i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel